Hi guys, good morning and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video for something a little bit different and kind of fun. Generally, I tend to eat pretty healthy. I am a college student, so obviously I'm not like cooking every night because I have classes and stuff to do and that just takes a lot of time. So I usually meal prep at the beginning of the week. Today when you are watching this, it is Thursday, so I do have stuff already planned out to eat today, but I will show you guys what that is. I'm not on a specific diet per se. I would just try to eat generally pretty healthy when I can, but I also know that for my mental health, I need to not be so strict on myself because that's the last thing I need is to be stressed about what I'm eating as well. So I just try to be as smart as possible, eat a lot of whole foods, not a lot of processed stuff, not too much sugar, but still some here and there because I love my sweets. Obviously, I am not a nutritionist or a dietitian. I just eat what I like to eat and try to be pretty healthy about it based on knowledge that I have. So obviously don't take anything that I'm saying as like medical advice or anything like that because I am very much an amateur, but hopefully this video will be entertaining or maybe a little bit helpful for you guys. So it is currently like 9.30. I have class at 10 and it's just on Zoom. So I'm getting ready for that. I did my face makeup already. I'm just gonna throw a little bit on my eyes and well, the rest of my face makeup, I put a base on. Um, but I did work out this morning. I showered too. That's why my hair is in a ponytail. I didn't wash it. So I'm gonna deal with that. <laughs> my hair is gonna look better, but I did a workout this morning and I just showered real quickly. So I am going to have a protein shake and I'll show you guys which one I am using. But on days where I do work out, out during the week which is basically every day um, I like to have a protein shake within like an hour after I finish working out just to get some protein in and it kind of helps with me not eating breakfast right away because I think it's a lot better for me personally to wait later in the day to eat so usually in the morning I'll try to have a protein shake and then some coffee and then I'll wait until like after my morning classes to have like a late breakfast lunch kind of thing before I show you guys the protein shake though, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I upload two videos a week. It's been Wednesdays and Sundays recently, so I think I'm gonna stick to that schedule, but regardless, I upload two videos a week and they're all lifestyle, beauty, and fashion related videos. So if you're into that sort of content, I would love to see you back here. So ignore like the big mess of food that I have here. This is where I keep everything in the closet. So this is the protein that I like to use. This is from Sam's Club, but you can get similar ones at Costco too. Um, I had one from Sam's Club before. I think it is like, it was the pure po protein brand, if I remember correctly. Um, but I honestly like this one much better. It tastes way better. The other one was kind of more on like the chalky side, but this one like actually tastes amazing if you add it to water which is what I do it kind of tastes like vanilla skim milk so I love this stuff and it's like a huge bottle and not too badly priced either all right so I just add one scoop of this and then I always 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 add ice to this because I like my drinks cold and then I only fill it up halfway with water because it's on it's good but not so good that I want to drink like a whole bottle of it and I don't mind when it's a little bit more concentrated so I fill the um, bottle up to like half and then obviously shake it up and stuff so it doesn't get clumpy. Sorry if you can hear my air conditioner on in the background and I wet my hair so that's why it's wet but I wanted to show you the coffee that I'm gonna have because I do have class in a few minutes so I will probably get it like during a break in class but I don't know how long it will be so I won't be able to like vlog I guess per se for you guys but the coffee that is my absolute favorite is the Stoke Cold Brew. I get this at Sam's Club. It is actually surprisingly very affordable for a bottle, but they have other versions like a protein infused one. They have a pumpkin one now that I am so excited to try. That'll be my next one that I buy. I do like to make my own cold brew, but honestly, that is just so much easier. I still make my own cold brew from time to time when I don't have that, but the bottle usually lasts me like a week, a week and a half. So definitely worth it and then let me show you guys the creamer if I can find it in my fridge my favorite creamer as of recently is the Chobani vanilla creamer it's so good it's a little bit thicker so it definitely adds a little bit of thickness to your coffee but it tastes absolutely amazing sorry I was putting it back in the fridge in the back so I will probably have a cup of that with a lots of ice because I like my iced coffee with lots of ice and then um 
some of the creamer too. So I'll show you guys a picture of it maybe once I make it, but it just looks like standard coffee, but it's definitely the best. So while my class is going on, I'll probably finish my protein shake and then grab some coffee too. So that way I'm not like wanting to eat stuff during my class, which ends around noon. All right, so I'm almost done with my protein shake. I just have a little bit more to down. And then I made myself some coffee just so I have it here and ready for when my class gets going. Um, so this is typically the amount that I will have usually just like one-ish cup with a metal straw. And then I'll see if you can see the color better with the creamer. So delish. Next update will be after my class and I'll have some like breakfast food so I can have lunch a little bit later and then I'll eat dinner a little later too. Okay so I just finished my physiology class it is about noon and I am gonna have like a super super late breakfast it's more so like lunchtime but with breakfast food I just like getting all of my meals in during the day regardless of what time it is as long as I'm not eating too late or super early so for breakfast even though it is in the afternoon now I am going to have these like I'm gonna make some oatmeal oh gosh wow that was a huge mess great now I have to vacuum the floor but I usually switch between having oatmeal, yogurt, or eggs for breakfast with some fruit as well. Today I'm feeling oatmeal, great source of whole grain. Um, so I'm just gonna make a small bowl of this, not much at all, and then cut up a banana and a few strawberries to have with it. I know some people like to do their oatmeal with milk, but sometimes milk doesn't agree with me the best. So I really like making mine with water. So I'll just add a little bit of water in these to a bowl and then put it in the microwave for like a minute or so and then cut up a strawberry or a few strawberries and a banana on top like I said so I'll show you guys that after so here I have my bowl of oatmeal with some strawberries and then a banana I only used half a banana because honestly the other half was kind of brown and I didn't want to eat that um, but it is a pretty small bowl although this will probably keep me very filled up until I want to eat lunch with my class schedule the way that I like I have breaks it kind of just lends itself better for me to eat a later breakfast and then a later lunch and then dinner around like seven o'clock if I'm hungry at that time I try not to eat too late um like seven seven thirty is the latest that I will eat but yeah I'll probably have lunch around Let's see, I have class from 1.15 to like 2-ish, so I try to eat, well then I have another class at 4.30, so in between like 2 and 4.30 is usually when I'll eat lunch. So I like to have a little bit of a later breakfast, especially since I'm filled up with a protein shake and then coffee in the mornings, and then I'll have this for my breakfast, I feel like I've said that so many times, and then lunch a little later on, and then dinner around like seven. So anyways, this is my breakfast that I'm eating super late, but super yummy and pretty healthy too. Okay, so I am going to have some lunch. It is like three o'clock now, so this is definitely a later lunch, but I am not really too hungry, but to kind of be on track with my day and not eat dinner so super late, I'm gonna have some lunch now. So I just made myself a small salad. I mixed, um, spinach and romaine lettuce mostly because I didn't have that much spinach left um but romaine lettuce is like my favorite lettuce especially for salads however like spinach has a lot of great nutrients in it so I do like to eat spinach more often even though it's not my preferred salad green and then I just added some baby tomatoes on here and then some shredded chicken um I usually make a different chicken for dinner but for lunch, I just buy either chicken that's already pre-cooked and then I just have a cold on my salad or, I mean, this is also pre-cooked, but like rotisserie chickens at the grocery store, like the ones you can buy that are already cooked and everything. Um, I just shred those up sometimes and then have that chicken on my salad, which I honestly prefer this because it tastes really fresh and I like the way it is. Um, and then I'm not a huge like dressing person. I don't love sauces or dressings, especially like thicker, creamy ones. Um, so recently I've been using, sorry, I hit the bowl, um, vinegar on my salads. And I know oil and vinegar is like 
a huge thing to do together, but I'm not the biggest fan of oil either. Um, I know it's obviously has a lot of beneficial fats in it and stuff, but um, I do love vinegar. So I'm using this raspberry white balsamic vinegar and it tastes absolutely amazing on my salad. It's not like too harsh of a vinegar taste. So if you like something that's a little bit tangy and you're like me and don't really like um, like thicker dressings and stuff, this stuff is really good. I found it at the grocery store. So this is my salad. Usually I will have a salad for lunch, but I kind of interchange the toppings on it. Um, I guess, I don't know if you really consider salad toppings, but anyways, um, I always have chicken with it. And then sometimes I'll do like feta cheese and some strawberries with like a strawberry poppy seed dressing. That stuff is really good, but I get really tired of that after a while. It has to be like once or twice a week that I have that, not every day. So this is more of like an everyday salad for me. I forgot to mention too, the only drink besides coffee and that protein shake that I have during the day is always water. Sometimes I'll treat myself to a sparkling water at dinner if I'm feeling up to it, but honestly, that's like only once or twice a week, if even that, but I am drinking water all day throughout the day. I try, really try to get around like 100 ounces of water in a day, especially since I am drinking coffee, so I'm voiding peeing a lot more with coffee that's just what happens with my body um so I do try to really increase my water intake especially on days where I am drinking coffee so I usually aim for 100 ounces um but sometimes I, I don't always hit that mark just because of my schedule and things like that so that's what I'm drinking throughout the day too Sorry, it is so dark in here. I like when the lights are off, but it is like six o'clock right now and I'm kind of hungry, but I don't really want to eat dinner yet because I didn't have lunch too long ago and I kind of like to wait a little bit to have dinner just so I'm not like hungry later on tonight. So I'm going to have some grapes. I forgot that I had them in my fridge. So that was such a nice surprise. I just have like red grapes and I'm gonna put a few in a bowl, wash them up, and then have those as a little pre-dinner snack. So I got my bowl of grapes here and I'm gonna finish up my reading for my nutrition class and do my quiz for that and stuff before I eat dinner. Hopefully it won't be too too long but I wanted to give you, sorry I just ate a grape, I wanted to give you guys a little tip I guess you would call it. Um, I am definitely someone that loves 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 sweets and frozen treats all that stuff i'm definitely a more like sugar oriented girl i love my sweets but obviously i try to limit my intake of them because I'm not healthy um so one alternative that i found that i actually really enjoy is frozen grapes i'm telling you if you haven't tried frozen grapes definitely give it a go um i know some people like don't really like it i haven't frozen any grapes in a long time but i just thought about it again and now i really want to so i think i'm gonna pop the rest of the grapes that i have in the freezer it's also a really great way to kind of keep them a little bit longer and they're so so good definitely have to let them thaw like just a tiny bit because they get like rock solid in the freezer but they're so delicious and one of my favorite ways to eat grapes and it's definitely a great alternative to having other frozen treats all right, so my dinner just came out of the microwave. It is about 7.30. Like I said before, I like to meal prep throughout the week so that way I'm not cooking every single night because I honestly just like don't have time for that with all of my classes and just my work schedule and like club schedule and stuff like that. So I'll show you what I meal prepped for this week. I actually had this last week too, but just with a different grain. So I'm really enjoying this meal and it's pretty simple, pretty easy. So I'll show you guys that. I just heated it up, which... Microwave isn't always my favorite option, but it's the best thing that I have right now besides cooking every day. All right, so this is dinner. I have some quinoa here and then just chicken that I made, some little cherry tomatoes, mozzarella. It was supposed to look way cuter the way I placed the mozzarella, but it all like slid off of the chicken whenever I heated up in the microwave. And then I sprinkled some basil on it too. Ooh, I forgot something. Typically with this, I always like some balsamic with it as well. So I'm just going to use this one that I have and just sprinkle that 
old drizzle it, not really sprinkle on my chicken. Last week I had the same thing except with chickpea pasta, so you can easily switch up some things a little bit. Personally, I really, really enjoy quinoa. I wanted to make rice with this, but quinoa was a little bit more of a healthy option. So while my dinner is cooling down, because I absolutely cannot eat that yet, it is like scalding hot, I figured I would chat with you guys. The chicken I just made in a pan. Sometimes I like to bake it too, just depending on my time frame. I feel like um, doing it in a pan is a little bit quicker than baking it in the oven, but it's kind of just what you prefer. Everything else I obviously just like sprinkled on top and then put it in the microwave. Um, and then the quinoa, I cooked how the bag said it was supposed to be cooked on the stove like kind of the same way you cook rice and noodles and everything. Um, if you haven't tried quinoa, I definitely give it a go. It's something that I really, really like. I've tried a bunch of different varieties. I really like quinoa cooked. I know some things, especially like in salads and stuff like that, quinoa is uncooked, which it's fine like that too, but I like my quinoa cooked as like an alternative for noodles or rice. It's really great for like amino acids and protein. Um, so I like this quinoa the best, but I also have tried red quinoa as well. And that one is just a little bit grittier, um, so it kind of just depends on your taste preference, but I think they're all pretty similar. So I'm gonna have dinner now. <laughs> all right guys, so it is nearing eight o'clock now and I'm pretty much done eating for the day. I might have like an apple or a kiwi here and a little bit between like eight and nine just because in case I get hungry, but generally I don't really like to eat past like 8.30, 9 o'clock at the absolute latest. I generally go to bed like fairly late. It's not like I'm eating at 9 o'clock and then going to bed at 10. I usually go to bed between like 12 and 1, sometimes a little later than that if I have a lot of work to do, um, which is a habit that I'm trying to break. But um, anyways, as I was saying, I'll take you guys along with me for the next few hours just in case, well not the next few hours, hopefully I'm not eating that late, but for a little longer just in case I do have something else to eat, but that pretty much wraps up what I eat in a day. Alright guys, sorry if you can hear my AC still, it is so incredibly hot in here, but I am going to get ready for bed now, take my makeup off, put my pajamas on. I still want to accomplish a few things in the next few hours, but it is like 9.30 now, so I think it is pretty safe to say that I am not going to be eating anything else tonight because I don't really like to eat that late at night. So this completes my what I eat in a day video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a little bit of a different style for my channel, but I did a poll over on my Instagram a few weeks ago and a lot of you over on there um, said that you would like to see this kind of video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not following my Instagram, I will have it linked down below in the description box. Um, I do post like regular Instagram content on there, but I also um, post some stuff about YouTube content and polls and questions and all of that, especially on my stories. So, um, if you want to stay up to date with things, I would definitely recommend following me over on there too, just to get a little bit more info and stay in the loop. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite meals are or what a day in your life food-wise looks like. But thanks so much for sticking around to the end of this video with me. Like I said, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel before you leave. But that wraps up this What I Eat in a Day video. Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.